Here's some tips and tricks for your Texas Instruments graphing calculator to save time and avoid mistakes. Now, let's take it to the test. Let's look at a fast, simple, and accurate way to find the minimum or maximum of a graph using the calc menu. First, press Y equals. Enter the equation. and graph it. Now, let's open the calc menu. It's the blue command over the trace key. So, press second to activate the blue commands and calc. Select minimum and press enter. The calculator will ask you to set left and right boundary values. Pick values on either side of what appears to be the minimum. For the left boundary, let's enter zero. And for the right, try two. See those arrows? They point to the left and right boundary values you just set. Now, the calculator will ask you to guess the x coordinate of the minimum. This looks like the minimum occurs when x equals 1, so press 1 and enter. The minimum is negative 9 at x equals 1. There you have it. Let's move on. How do you find the maximum value? Easy. Let's graph y equals negative 2x squared minus negative 4x plus 1. Enter and graph. Open the calc menu. Select maximum and enter. It's just like we did before. Set your left boundary and the right boundary. There's your arrows. Now, take a guess. Looks like it's at negative one. There it is. The maximum is at negative one, three. Wonderful. So, now you know a quick way to find the maximum and minimum values of a graph using the calc menu. The tips and tricks document has all this and more. Download it now and use it to practice for the test. Be sure to check out the rest of the tips and tricks for test success videos. And hey, good luck on that exam.